Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECDF 30 day model for today's first video uh, for UK and the rest of Europe as well. Uh, so we're looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. Takes us into the second half of uh, March and uh, we'll see what the ECMDF 30 day model has to say about weather in the next uh, four weeks. Very short, you just say that the second video update uh, with you later on this afternoon will be the regular week's 10 day video update, have all of the usual features. And tonight, we may do snow watch. Actually, there is the risk of a little bit of snow down in the south on uh, Thursday morning. So have a look at that um, for today's third video that will be with you this evening. We're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this one. So a big thank you to them for supplying us uh, with the charts. We can't show you mean cellar pressure or 500 millibar heights with this. But from the temperature precipitation, obviously, you can get a broad idea of what model is uh, forecasting. Right, so begin with uh, week one, which is week nine for the year, of course. It's the temperature anomaly for the ninth week of 2020. It takes us from the 24th of February to the 1st of March. And a bit of a change in northwestern parts of Europe. I'm not sure the ECM has flagged this up very well in previous weeks. But here we go, colder than average now across the northern parts of uh, Sweden and also down to much of Norway and then through the UK and into Ireland. Temperature anomalies are average to slightly below average. Also significantly cold and across Iceland as temperatures have been throughout this winter. Elsewhere across Europe, it's another very mild week coming up. Not quite as mild in most places as it has been, but even so, much of northern and western Europe having temperature anomalies of around 1 to 3 degrees above average. Over on the eastern side of Europe, we're around um, 3 to 6 degrees above average. Into the interior of Russia, we're still up to around 6 to 10 degrees above average. So away from the far northwest, where it is colder this week, most places are uh, milder. Uh, and through the Mediterranean, also looking quite mild, except in this extreme southeast corner around Turkey. It's a little bit colder there, but otherwise temperatures are above average quite widely across uh, many parts of Europe, away from the extreme northwest. Very unsettled for much of northern and western Europe in the week ahead too. So this will be precipitation anomaly from the 24th of February to the 1st of March. Big driving average across Scandinavia. And much of Mediterranean also coming out driving average. That's been the case throughout this winter, mostly, of course. But uh, in between, a big area of above average precipitation. So it looks significantly wetter than average in the week ahead for much of the UK and for Ireland. We've got Germany, Belgium, Holland, Denmark. Uh, above average rainfall there. France with above average rainfall too. And even over on this eastern side of Europe, precipitation anomalies are a little bit above average as well. So it is quite an unsettled and wet week, but what's happening is that the jet stream is moving southwards. The jet stream is moving into that sort of position. That's the reason Scandinavia, or central northern part of Scandinavia, Norway anyway, are allowed to dry out. There's more ridging up there. The jet stream is pushing southwards, taking the low pressure uh, with it, and allowing colder air to begin to push into the extreme northwest of Europe with those areas of low pressure. Moving on to uh, week two, which of course is week 10 for the year, this is how the temperature anomaly is on. So a real east-west split bed, uh, still a bit cold and average for parts of Norway and down into the UK and Ireland. So this is the second to the eighth of March, the first week of March being forecast to be cold and average in the extreme northwest Europe. Again, I'm not sure the ECM Fed Day model has flagged this up terribly well. Um, there's never really been an indication of cold and average temperature anomalies in previous weeks, I don't think. But there we go, we have a pretty chilly week coming up there through the first week of March. We've got much of Western Europe, sort of Western Germany, into uh, the low countries, France, Spain, Portugal, close to average with precipitation then, as is much of Sweden. From Poland eastwards, it's warmer than average, and it goes very uh, mild indeed in the far east of Europe. So from the Ukraine down towards the Black Sea, we've got temperatures there of around 6 to 10 degrees above average. So exceptionally mild conditions continue on the eastern side of Europe. It's a lot cooler or even colder out in the west. Precipitation anomalies, again, looking quite unsettled for most parts of uh, Europe. Even down to Mediterranean, it's looking wetter this week. So it does tell us that the jet stream is going ever further southwards, probably, taking 
low pressure into southern parts of Europe. It looks wetter than average through northern Spain, southern parts of France, into the Mediterranean and Italy, wetter than average uh, there as well. Further north across northern Europe, actually it's not quite as wet as it is in week one, but even so precipitation anomalies are still slightly above average. And with cold air, air digging in, some of this precipitation could well be falling as snow across northern parts of Europe, I would have thought, through the first week of March. Uh, as far as the med training is concerned, so I've already said, much of the med is looking wetter than average. It's a little bit drier in this southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. Uh, so from like Greece up to the Black Sea, a little bit drier than average there, and Turkey too. But generally quite a, quite an unsettled scene once again, many parts of Europe. And as it's turning cold, it's suggesting you're digging southwards, so that precipitation could be starting to turn to snow. Then we go through to week 11 for the year. It's uh, week three for our forecast period from the 9th to the 15th of March. Changes again. It's starting to turn milder across northern Europe now. Uh, I mean, how seriously we take this, I'm not sure, because in previous weeks, the coming couple of weeks are now being forecast to be cold now. In previous weeks, I don't think the ECM was forecasting this next two weeks to be colder than average so it's trying to get us back to mild average conditions how seriously we take that i'm not sure but it is going for above average temperature anomalies across much of northern europe in this week so most parts of scandinavia are coming out with uh, above average temperatures around one two three degrees above average for the uk and for Ireland, we also go slightly above average with our temperature and normally anything from around one to three degrees above average too mildest conditions in the far east and northeast of europe they're around three to six degrees above average from the baltic sea to the west of russia France is uh, close to average, as is much of Germany. I mean, down into the Mediterranean, uh, so we've got Spain and Portugal uh, with above average, above average temperatures. Greece and Turkey also above average. In between, though, through this central bowl of the Med and towards Italy and the Asiatic, uh, temperature anomalies are quite close to average. Precipitation-wise, also signs of a change. It can go drier in the west of Europe. So we see that for the UK, for Ireland, for France, Spain, Portugal and the Low Countries. It looks a bit drier through this week. So presumably high pressure is beginning to build back up from the Azores through this week. We see the Azores high beginning to build back up. It sends the jet stream back northwards again. And that's the reason it's turning milder, but also drier across western parts of Europe. So, uh, from Germany eastwards over towards the east of uh, Europe, we see average to perhaps even get slightly above average precipitation. I mean, it's but by this point, the overall signal is weakening. So there's a lot of white going on there, a lot of no signal. And then finally, we get to week 12 for 2020. It's week four for our forecast period, taking us from the 16th to the 22nd of March. Overall, above average temperatures across northern uh, and northeastern and eastern parts of Europe by around uh, one to three degrees. Above average, above average through Spain and Portugal. Otherwise, again, a lot of white going on, a lot of no signal through many of these central and western parts of Europe, the UK and Ireland included in that. I think overall probably hinting at rather above average temperatures, really, for most parts of Europe as we go into the second half of March. Again, how seriously we take that, um, given that the current colder than average temperatures for the northwest of Europe have not been particularly well forecast by the ECM. I'm not sure, but there we go. That's what it's showing above average temperatures generally into the second half of March. Precipitation wise, a bit of a northwest southeast split. So in the southeastern corner uh, of Mediterranean, it's western average in Greece and Turkey. Across the western and northwest of Europe, from Spain up to the British Isles, generally it's a little bit drier than average. Some parts of Scandinavia or Norway, weakly wetter than average. Overall, I suspect it's dry, drier in the west anyway, and a little bit wetter on the eastern side. So, uh, quite an interesting update. It looks as though, all of a sudden, it's crept up on us. We've got a bit of a cold and average interlude uh, appearing for the northwest of Europe in weeks one and two, taking us through the last week of February 
and into the first week of March. Temperatures could be a bit cold on average. It hasn't been particularly well flagged up by the ECM, I have to say. After that, uh, many eastern parts of Europe, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, generally above average. After that, it wants to get us back to milder than average conditions across most parts of Europe through, set through uh, the middle part of the month and into the second half of March. Again, how seriously we take that, I'm not sure. But uh, certainly a bit of a change for the next couple of weeks anyway in the northwest. It does look rather colder then. Maybe it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing. It could all look very different next week. Any forecast beyond by seven days comes with a pinch of salt. So, um, could all look completely different next week. Right, that's it for this week's ECM Day 30 Day. Okay, we'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update. Matter of fact, we've got Snow Watch coming up tonight. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.